Article 100 Raceway. So this is an enclosed channel that's designed solely for holding wires, cables, or bus bars with additional functions as allowed in the code. All right, um, we, we kind of isolate the different wiring methods in Chapter 3 into a couple of broad categories. First of all, we have cables, all right? And cables are covered in Articles 320 through 340 alphabetically. So you have, uh, you know, AC cable and MC cable, NM cable, SE cable, UF cable. What these all have in common is the conductors are installed at the factory, all right? Those are not raceways. Those are cables. After Article 340, we go into Article 342 and continuing up to, I think, Article 380, is the last I can think of that covers raceways. And the most obvious ones are those like in the picture here, PVC conduit, or you have EMT, you have rigid metal conduit, IMC, uh, you've got HDPE, which is, is used underground, you've got uh, RTRC, reinforced, re, uh, reinforced thermosetting resin conduit, which is a fiberglass conduit that you might have installed. Um, these things are all raceways, and what they have in common is when you buy them, they don't have wires in them. Uh, the only exception to that, because of course there's always an exception, right, is Article 3, 354, which is non-metallic underground conduit with conductors. That is actually a raceway that you buy with the wires already in it. It's used pretty much ex exclusively for directional boring. So if you're not for, uh, familiar with directional boring, uh, that's where you, you drill a hole into the earth and there's kind of a, a remote control apparatus that controls the drilling the drill head and it pulls a conduit behind it as it goes. If that conduit already has wires in it, we call it type NUCC, non-metallic underground conduit with conductors. If it does not have conductors in it, we're almost certainly installing HDPE conduit with the, uh, with the directional boring equipment. But anyway, uh, a raceway, it's a piece of pipe that you put wires in, generally speaking. Uh, but it's not always a piece of pipe, you know, it, it can be a square object or tubular object like a, like a, a wireway is a raceway, but a gutter is not a raceway. Article 366 covers gutters, Article 376 covers wireways. Wireways are considered a raceway. A gutter is considered to be essentially part of the cabinet or part of the enclosure, a supplement to the enclosure space. So here's the thing about a gutter. You cannot use a gutter as a raceway. So what's the difference between a gutter and a wireway? Well, a wireway usually has conduits or, or, or raceways coming out of a cabinet, going to a wireway, and then leaving. The difference is how you use it. A gutter is physically connected to the cabinet or to the enclosure, and oftentimes it'll have conductors or even bus bars going through it. So the difference between a wireway and a gutter is simply how you use it. It's actually the same product. It's just a matter of how you install it. One's a raceway, one's not. Uh, other raceways would include uh, what we often call wire mold, multi-outlet assembly. That would be another example of raceways. So there's all sorts of different raceways. And one of the things that I'm a big believer in is trying to stay relevant and trying to stay up to date with emerging technologies. Uh, I was at a trade show just, uh, just last week. Uh, today is uh, mid-October 2021. Last week I was at a trade show and I, I met an entrepreneur that was kind of reinventing aluminum raceways. And I think this is pretty cool. Take a look at this and I'll show you a new product that you might see in the near future. Okay, so before I forget, this is from American Conduit. So I wanna make sure I'm giving credit where it's due. Um, this is an aluminum piece of EMT. And if you can notice, I'll kind of adjust my camera. You can see how it has ridges around the inside. And that's to make pulling the conductors easy. One of the knocks on aluminum conduit is that it's hard to pull through. And this actually makes it easier to pull the wires through. Not only that, but it, it adds strength when you're bending it. So that when you bend a 90 on it, the, uh, the stress is distributed throughout the, throughout the raceway and it's not as likely to kink. 
Now, listen, I, I, I'm not a salesperson. I don't care if you ever buy that product. It means nothing to me. I'm not being paid to advertise it. Uh, I just kind of like to show new technologies as they emerge. So raceways, pretty simple stuff, but you can get more complex and more interesting varieties. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about in this video is communications raceway, or raceway comma communications. Uh, this is an enclosed non-metallic channel for wires or cables for communications, optical fiber, data, class 2, class 3, power limited tray cable, and power limited fire alarm system. So what we're looking at here in the photograph is a communications raceway. Um, it's not interduct. It can be used as interduct, and you might remember that in the definition that I did on interduct. Interduct is just a, a one conduit inside of a different conduit. So often we'll use communications raceway as interduct, but in and of itself, it's just a communications raceway. If I'm not putting that into another raceway, then it's, it's just a raceway, right? More specifically, it's a communications raceway. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.